There is a huge divide in the Call of Duty player base. On one side of the fence, we have people who love multiplayer. Your team deathmatch, domination, hardpoint players who will be playing Black Ops 6 all year round. These guys just love the classic Call of Duty multiplayer experience, but I'd argue they're now in the minority. On the other side of the fence, we have those who just see multiplayer as an extension of Warzone, the new majority. They feel multiplayer is simply there as a way to level up your weapons so that they're ready to take into the real game the battle royale and i think these split player bases are constantly at odds with each other the warzone players are ready to just drop black ops 6 as soon as season one opens up and i feel like the multiplayer side of the player base definitely holds this against the warzone players i'd say more of the old school side of the player base are more multiplayer orientated and they feel quite frustrated that black ops 6 will just be dropped as soon as warzone kicks off and i'd argue they're also quite frustrated about how much the entire call of duty experience has shifted after the release of warzone verdance as soon as call of duty released their battle royale everything changed and whether they knew it or not for the majority of players, they were effectively putting multiplayer on the back burner. I definitely don't think this was intentional, but like it or not, it resulted in a complete shift of the multiplayer landscape, and this extends even beyond Call of Duty. Now, I'm going to probably catch a lot of flack for this opinion, but I feel like standard 6v6 shooters can only get you so far as a video game franchise nowadays. If you're looking to compete and carve out a large portion of the market, you need to be releasing some form of high stakes game mode. So we're obviously talking about Battle Royale as a safe bet, but we're also starting to see franchises release extraction shooters. And if we wanna get a little closer to that old school vibe, we can use an example like Valorant, which is still high stakes, but obviously closer to that standard arcadey three lane shooter vibe. We're pretty sure that Battlefield will be releasing a new Battle Royale as part of their next release. We also know that 343 have rebranded themselves and are now called Halo Studios. They are supposedly working on several projects at the moment, and I'm really hoping that one of those projects is a Halo Battle Royale. Because I think the way that franchise has just dropped off the face of the earth is a real shame. And whether you like it or not, I think game franchises nowadays need to take an if you can't beat them, join them approach. It's about moving with the times, moving with this shifted multiplayer landscape and releasing these high stakes modes to ensure that your franchise stays relevant. I guess it is sad in a way that traditional Call of Duty multiplayer has just kind of phased out. But honestly, I just don't think anything can be done about that now. It's just the reality of the situation. Players want that dopamine hit that you can really only get from something like Battle Royale or Resurgence. And if you aren't offering them that dopamine hit, they're going to go somewhere else and find it. Of course, I'd be really interested in your opinion. So please do make sure to comment below, guys. Are you planning to just drop Black Ops 6 when Warzone releases or are you on the other side of the fence? If you do enjoy my content, the two best ways to support me is first to like the video and second to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you again very soon.